The billionaires are coming. Yeah, my friends, cryptocurrency as an asset class is growing up before our eyes, and the world's richest are coming in full force to take their piece of the crypto pie. But which altcoins could those with deep pockets be looking to invest in? Well, let me give you a quick hint. It's not Solana meme coins. So which sector is it and who are the coins? We'll find out in about 10 minutes because it's time for Chico Crypto. Yeah, my friends, the world's richest are now coming for crypto and they're starting with Bitcoin. If you didn't know, in the just over two months since the launch of the first spot BTC ETFs, many of the world's largest asset managers and their billionaire customers are sucking up the asset at an unprecedented rate. BlackRock attracted 13.4 billion in buys, Fidelity 7 billion, ARK Invest 2 billion, and Bitwise 1.5 billion. In total, minus the outflows from Grayscale, there has been over 11 billion in Bitcoin purchased by these funds in just over 60 days. And BlackRock has been on a tear, actually buying up on average $211 million worth of Bitcoin each day. We can see this enormous growth when they first started January 10th with practically no BTC, but by February 12th, they had already accumulated over 100,000, aka in just 33 days. By March 8th, this 100K doubled to 200K BTC held by BlackRock, aka another 100K were added in less time, just 26 days. And now, just 17 days later, BlackRock is coming up on accumulating another 50K BTC. They hodl over 243,000 as of yesterday, Monday. With this rate, BlackRock has already bought up nearly 1% of the Bitcoin supply for their rich customers. BlackRock is basically purchasing 100,000 Bitcoin every single month. Obviously, BlackRock customers have a thirst for crypto assets. This is why BlackRock is moving forward with their plans to offer their clients the ability to get deeper into the world of cryptocurrency. Of course, we know the BlackRock Ethereum ETF is coming, whose application was confirmed in November of last year. But after the Bitcoin ETF was passed, we need to hear what CEO of BlackRock, Larry Fink, spoke on in an interview with CNBC. Let's listen in now. Longer term, do you now expect other cryptocurrency ETFs? Meaning, do you think that Gary, and we'll talk to him later, uh, Gary like Gensler will, will have to approve an Ethereum yeah. ETF? Yeah, Larry thinks an Ethereum ETF is locked in now that the Bitcoin ETF was launched. Well, let's now hear him continue that conversation. I see value in having an Ethereum ETF. As I said, these are just start stepping right. stones towards tokenization. And I really do believe this is where we're going to be going. We have the technology to tokenize today. The Ethereum ETF is just the next stepping stone to tokenization. Well, as we know from last week, this is already in the works with the BlackRock tokenized fund on Ethereum. Of course, I covered this news last week, showing that the partner with BlackRock on this, Securitize, has already inked a partnership with the RWA protocol Centrifuge, and their goal was to take tokenized securities into the realm of DeFi. But now it's time to go even deeper because this doesn't just end with Centrifuge, it's highly likely more players are involved. In November of last year, I covered for the first time a certain project and protocol in a similar video to this, titled, I Uncovered the Cryptos Billionaires Are Buying. This protocol was Ondo Finance, who was behind the scenes becoming a leader in the tokenization and RWA space. Did I have a feeling back then BlackRock and Ondo would be working together? Yes, I did. And now that seems to be the case with the launch of BlackRock's tokenized fund. Why do I think this? Well, if you go to Ondo Finance's website, they clearly state they are working with BlackRock. In the section, Exceptional Partners, they have a subsection, High Quality Asset and Managers. And this includes 
BlackRock posted right there on their website. But wait, there is a whole lot freaking more I have. Going to the Ondo Finance team, there is someone that stands out. Ondo's VP of Partnerships, Katie Wheeler. Clicking into her LinkedIn, we can see where she was formerly also a vice president at. Yeah, you guessed it, BlackRock, VP of US iShares International. But then if we dive into the Ondo ecosystem of partners, we can see that indeed BlackRock is listed as a partner and service provider for Ondo, but also the close partner of BlackRock on their crypto offerings, Coinbase, is a partner of Ondo. Great news. But then we got to see Ondo's early days. They didn't have as many partners as they have now, just a short list. Here is that list. And as we can see, the first three listed were Anchorage Digital, BitGo, and Fireblocks HQ. Now, as we know, the tokenization firm Securitize is the main partner of BlackRock with their tokenized fund. Well, as we can see from Securitize's tweet about the fund, they list their initial partners. These partners include Anchorage Digital, BitGo, Coinbase, and Fireblocks HQ. Ondo Finance and Securitize have the same initial partners. That just can't be a coincidence, right? I don't think so, but if you got in early on Ondo, like when I first covered it, that's an easy 10X already. But I have a feeling Ondo isn't stopping anytime soon, and eventually Ondo will be a top 25 coin, putting its market cap at least in the $5 billion range, which means the Ondo token still has a lot of room to grow. But who else could BlackRock be eyeing? Well, you just need to dig deep and see where the asset manager is putting their people and their eyes. Just last week, there was a crypto event on RWAs from the Web3 investment firm Pitch Talk. And as we can see from the list of partners and judges for the event, RWA Demo Day, BlackRock is listed as number one. Obviously, they are important and looking at new technologies in the RWA sector they could eventually utilize and eventually partner with. So who presented to BlackRock? Well, there were 10 projects, Token E Solutions, Casu Finance, IX Swap, Yield Bricks, Brick In, Ample, IOTX, Materium, Pinomo Protocol, and Lender Network. Now, this is a great resource for RWA projects. They were handpicked to be a part of this demo day as they are leaders. They pitch their ideas to BlackRock. But many of these are tokenless right now, but some of them do have a token. The ones with tokens are IXSwap, Bricken, IOTX, and Lender Network. Now, RWAs are a crypto sector that's going to heat up, so I believe any of these tokens are solid picks as they have fully public teams and they're being invited to these demo days, which means they are serious builders. But who are my favorite picks? Well, judging for this event has already concluded and the winners have been picked. As we can see, first place was the tokenless Tokeny Solutions. Second place was the tokenless Ample, although they have a DAO, which means a token could be coming. Third place was the project with a token, Bricken. And number four was the project with a token, Lender Network. Because Bricken was in the top three for this demo day with BlackRock eyeing it, their token is up big time. As of yesterday, up over 50% over 24 hours. Although this is one I'm keeping a strong eye on. As we can see, it's out of the top 1,300 coins on CoinGecko with only just over a $13 million market cap. But it seems there could be some big stuff coming up for Bricken in the near future. As we can see, they have a pinned tweet on their profile that says, major announcements for the upcoming four weeks, major clients, new chains, game-changing partnerships, token updates, and listings. Stay tuned and see. I'm staying tuned, but now we have to look at the number four placer lender. It's even a smaller market cap, 
checking out their token, we can see it's on CoinGecko. And because of their performance, with BlackRock eyeing them, the token is up over 20% over 24 hours. Although we can see, even with that performance, it's a micro cap the token has a fully diluted valuation of just over only $280,000. Why do I think Lender could be a good play? Well, checking out their docs, besides placing fourth at this RWA demo day, they have also placed first at other crypto events. As we can see, they placed first at the Binance BNB Smart Chain Zero to Hero Hackathon. Then they also took first place in the Spring 2023 Chainlink Hackathon. And then after placing with Chainlink, Chainlink liked them so much that they joined the Chainlink build a program to advance RWA tokenization with the Oracle King Chainlink. Well, viewers, RWAs are the play. This is a sector of crypto the billionaires will be buying. Don't sleep on this sector. I'm wide awake when it comes to it, and I'll be covering it over and over over the next few years. Hope you guys do too. Cheers. I'll see you next time. The most trustless name in the